What's up, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus, the channel of trading, faith, and wealth. And today, you guys, we will take taking a closer look at XRP with cloud analysis. And you know, I'm doing today a little differently. I don't want to you know, waste too much time recording on one camera than doing a video, going back and forth. It takes too much time. So I'm going to be doing it like this. Probably I'm going to be doing it like this from now on. We, we will see. But it is what it is. So today I will be coming out of uh, today's scripture. I will be coming out of, let's see what I got today. I will have Second Timothy, Second Timothy 1 and 7. I'm going to be doing a teaching on fear. And I have another teaching that I'll be doing a teaching on fear, dark thoughts, and the power of your words. But uh, I want to do a teaching on fear first because that's one that... You know that has been in my mind I'm doing and also my spirit I'm doing that so I'm not gonna I'm just gonna read the scripture and that scripture is going to be for that teaching when I finally get to do it so stay tuned for that and subscribe if you are interested in those three topics that I mentioned uh, so let me go ahead and read it so 2 Timothy 1 and 7 reads for God hath not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So I do want to, you know, just put that scripture out there. I always want to give God, uh, you know, his glory on my channel. I always want to give God space on this channel because he has done so much for me. He has brought me out of darkness and he is still continue, continuing to bring me out of darkness. I feel famous right now because my phone's blown up right now. But uh, um, I do, I just wanted to get that scripture out. And I'm going to jump right into the technical analysis with XRP. It's pretty simple, straightforward. Not a lot going on with XRP. Like I said, we are still stuck here. But we are in a danger zone. So I will market this area right here. Dangerous, right? So I'm going to make this visible on the... So right now, it, it looks sketchy here on the weekly, but... The week's not over yet. We could still easily rebound back to the upside. But we will see what happens. If price is going to, you know, drop significantly lower, we have to get past this point first, which will be a first target area if it does, you know, for signs of breaking from downside. So let me go ahead and make this visible. Um, so, like I was saying, there's no opportunity here on the weekly market's flat everything's flat this is you no know, good sign here that this is coming down hopefully this remains flat and these get closer so we can start seeing that upward uh bullish cloud start forming that's what we really need for xrp to start moving to the upside and if we are going to get bullish let's let's say this was our bond let's just say you know 17 cents was our bottom right let's just say that one you know this will be an in wave formation to the upside and our first target will be at 29 cents you know we always had a hard time getting above 32 cents and you know so on so getting you know past these points once we get past these two points you know 32 and 39 36 cents right here it's nothing but moon city and you know we need to get above you know this current price at 22 cents um so that's that's something that i hope i hope that we could do it's not likely right now just because of what the charts is saying but we will see uh going to the daily time frame it's not looking good at all we are underneath the cloud which is bearish even though key June's flat that's a good sign for us to possibly you know range a little bit more and start probably moving back higher uh the other thing that i don't like here is that the sequence span right here this line here i can get this up be um, able to act funny today all right so here this is coming down which is you know mostly the sequence span a is good uh for you know moving to, to lower prices so we could still come here probably retest and drop a lower. So that's what it's showing on the daily time frame. This is flat and Kiju's flat. So that's a good thing for now. 
because we do have this uh, uh, hammer formation on the candle, a price action candle. I'm not saying that it is going to go higher, but we do have price action right there. So we have to be ca uh, cautious around this area. Looking at it on the four hour time frame, uh, key June is flat. We got secret spend A coming down. This is flat as well. So right now on the, you know, we have this formation. We have two hours and 33 minutes for this four hour candle to close. So if we close right now as a as this brick candle, this will be a piercing line pattern uh, or candlestick, which is a when a candle, which you have a bearish candle followed by a bullish candle at support, which shows us that uh, this this candle was breached more than 50% or at least 50%. So you see that this is more than 50% of this candle. So this is saying that bulls may start entering into this market if we close like this in the next two hours and 32 minutes now. So we will see. Uh, let's go to one hour. One hour. One hour is consolidating. Not really. We do have a bullish TK cross here. Market's getting back into equilibrium right here. So we may start getting. We will have to see how price reacts here. The next four. I'm, if anything, I would not base my analysis on the one hour chart. I would actually go by, based off the four hour time frame just to give me more data. Um, for right now, it's neutral to me. Uh, only thing that's making me bearish is that we're underneath the cloud on the one hour, the four hour, and the daily time frame. So that's not a good sign. But as long as we hold these levels here, we are fine. And not just that. If we do manage to hold this level here, I'm expecting price to start moving up, possibly back to got all this free space. Probably we're gonna get back to here to test the at 20. But right now it's 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 50 50. I'm not even gonna pick a side right now. It's 50 50, honestly. Uh, even though I'm slightly leaning bearish just because of this. Everything going to need to cloud, but we will see how the four hour candle closes. Let's say we do drop down. Let's see. That's quite a drop. <laughs> so we will have to see how the market responds next two hours or so. And when we get that analysis, uh, when we get that data and that analysis, I'll you know update you guys and probably put it in the. I'll probably post it on Twitter or I'll post it in the community section of my YouTube channel. So we will see. I think, you know, it's just a waiting game right now. It's not a lot going on. Even Chiku Spell is stuck in price right now. So that's one thing that I also want to watch. Uh, and then here as well. We got this formation as well. So. That's what I see right now. We will see how price responds. We break this trend line and retest and holds here. We'll see price move up. If we break down, retest, price will definitely drop. But that's the analysis for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, subscribe, like this video. Share your thoughts on where you think XRP is going. And you know, let me know, you know what you think about the crypto space, all right? God bless you guys and peace. Mm -hmm.